What's going on crew? I'm Big C90210 and this is another 7 Days to Die video. Now this one is another video which covers the basics of server administration. Now I don't know if you've seen my putty video, but the putty video, um, put the link here. Oh no. You click, click my face, click my face if you want to see this video regarding putty. Putty, 7 Days to Die dedicated server supports two methods of communicating with the server. The first one is PuTTY and the second one is the web console. Now, I'm not going to talk about the PuTTY because fucking I done that in my old video, but this video is going to purely concentrate on the web console. Now, the funny thing is about the web console is that not a lot of people realize it's actually a web console. All right. So I have a dedicated server here, which I've just went to Steam, I've went to uh, Tools, and I've downloaded the dedicated server version of 70s to die. So that's it, there's nothing fancy about it. And I've set it up. You know, use Notepad++ because it doesn't look sexier. Fucking hell, I'm not blind. So we can see here that in our server config.xml we have enabled the control panel we have enabled the control this is the web control panel by the way that's what it refers to we've enabled support 8088 and we've set the password to boobs123 now some of you will be going yo see man why have the fuck have you changed the port because the port was on 8080 and I'll tell you why if you go to if you open up a web browser on the server that on the same machine that is hosting the server and you go to 8080 what the fuck is this right the top and bottom of it is is the server that I run seven days to die on also runs a minecraft server so if you had, if this just was just a PC that you were using, then you could go ahead and use 8080. But because 8080 is already being used on my server for Minecraft, I've had to change it to 8088. Now I could have changed that to anything, but I've changed it to 8088. So that when you look at yours and you go, "Oh fucking hell, mine's 8080 and yours is 8088," that's the that's the only reason why is because I'm running Minecraft. So. I'm going to start the dedicated server. There we go. So it says now, if we go into task manager, there we go. We can see the server's up and running. It's using a gig of RAM. All is good in the hood. So just like with the Minecraft server, if we were to open our web browser and we were to go to HTTP, quote slash slash localhost, colon this is important colon two dots and then eight zero eight eight oh there's two colons there son of a bitch it's an actual web control panel yeah i'm not even shitting you so uh, as we can see, we set the password to boobs123, so we can put in our password, boobs. You can even see what the server name is, Pigs Nipples Control Panel. So, what we have now is we have a very, very basic looking window up. We can see we can shut the server down by clicking this button. And if we scroll down a bit we have a little text box which allows us to type commands so if you've seen the putty video um you will see that on putty what you can do is you can type in commands and then it sends them to the server and then the server has a response this is the exact same thing it's exact same thing but the only difference is is that you're doing it through a web browser so what we can do is we can say help and then way we've just sent the help command to the server and it's just replied 
all of these different commands. So you could say, I don't know, if you want to do, you could shut down the server. So say you were feeling like a badass, you could say, fuck you guys, I'm taking my server home. Boosh. There you go. The server shut down. The server stopped. The world's unloaded. It's saved your game. And if we look in Task Manager, it's gone. Okay. So we would have to start that up again properly. So, yeah. That is the web control panel in a nutshell. So... The dealio is, is that you don't want to be having to be sitting typing commands after commands into the web control panel. So going back again, I'm going to use Front Runner Tech because it's a fucking nice piece of kit that he's made. Front. There we go. So as an example, oh, there's a new version, Telnet Connection, Bug Fixes, Many. There we go. Uh, actually, uh, remind me later. Yeah, remind me in 30 seconds. 30 minutes or so. Oh fucking hell, that's the wrong one. I've opened up a really old version of this. Um, there we go. No wonder there was an update available. I opened version one. Um, if you server manager. So yeah, that web control panel is exactly the same web based control panel that when you use Front Runner Tech Server Manager, when you tick this, you are connecting to the server in exactly the same method that you are connecting to A088. The, it's exactly the same as going through the web browser. But obviously this interface does a lot of the typing of commands for you. That's how it works. So, web login failed to start at the server. But anyway, if you're experiencing problems trying to connect to here via this web console, I would advise trying it through your internet browser first. I mean, just as an example, I sat for about 10 minutes trying to connect through front of a tech server manager, completely forgetting that I already had a Minecraft server running on that 8080 port. One other thing is that, as an example, if you were trying to connect to a remote server, so HTTP, so as you can see, this is localhost, which means it's this computer that I'm running on. But imagine it was gameservers.com or Blue Flank, Blue Flank Solutions or whatever they are, and your IP address of your server was Five eight or blah 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 blah. And if you were trying to connect to your game server's IP address like this, and it didn't work, didn't work. There we go. And it didn't work. What that means is, and you know this address is correct, and you know in the server config it's correct. What that means is you need to tell game servers that they need to open this port. And they need to forward it to your server. Because what it means is, is you're typing this address and it should say, okay, your because your traffic is coming out of your computer, it's hitting gameservers.com or wherever it is. And then from here, game servers should be routing it to your server. But if you get a page can't be displayed, then what it means is it means that game servers haven't opened this particular port of your IP address. Okay. So that might help you debug a little bit. So, like I say, this video, now after watching this video and the putty video, you should know what the two different types of connectivity are to your seven days to die server are, how to use them to a basic level, and how they tie in with the server manager tools. Okay, guys, well, that's it for now. I'm BigC902 and all from TeamSEO.com, the No Blueprints blog. My server's down there. Don't forget, if you want to come on my server, come on, kick some ass, it's PvP. And I shall see you guys next time.